Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share my fall morning routine with you. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know routines are life for me. I take them so seriously, and especially with all the weirdness of this year, they've really been what helped me like stay focused and stay happy and grounded and really productive. So self-care is a big part of my routine. First thing in the morning, I spray this wake mist that has like um, eucalyptus and bergamot and then I've been lighting this candle that's called pure bliss which I just love and it kind of has like rose and I think eucalyptus too but it just are like it just gives you like those really good essential oil smells that just gently wake up your mind it's not like too intense but it's really really nice and then I'll do some stretches after I open up the blinds a bit I have an old neck injury that I just get really tight sometimes so stretches in the morning just help loosen everything up first thing I only spend like three or five minutes doing this but it does make a big difference and you guys I have my king size bed now I'm so excited we're still waiting for the actual like bed frame but oh my gosh it's so comfortable then I take my hypothyroidism medication so I'm on two medications right now I'm on Cytomel and love with iroxine but I actually got my blood work done yesterday because they think maybe my levothyroxine dosage is a little too high. So we're gonna check that. And just as always, trying to keep it stable. It's just a constant, like, what is it? Roller coaster, there you go. <laughs> I'll put on some deodorant, brush my teeth, and do some stretches. So I use a natural deodorant. By the way, if you're trying to switch, give it two to three weeks. You're gonna smell kind of terrible, but you need to detox, and then it'll even out and be totally fine. This is a little rose quartz. Um, rock crystal that I'm using to massage and it really helps like with tightening and with any loose skin and wrinkles and just really wakes up my face and especially because I kind of clench my jaw at night doing it on the jaw jawline helps a ton and then I'll put on a little lip mask I do this before I go to bed too my lips are so dry with hypo so it's just like constantly trying to put something on and then you guys you might remember this almond cow from a few routine videos ago. It is amazing. If you haven't seen me make this milk before, like watch because it's so fast and almond cow is the best thing ever. You don't have to use any strainers. It's so clean. You literally pick whatever nuts or ingredients you want and they'll like give you a bunch of ideas for recipes and you just put them in with water and it takes like a minute. It's so fast. So I'm doing coconut and cashews and the great thing is like you know exactly what's going into your nut milk so you're not doing any additives like you can also make oat milk and stuff too there's no fillers like you find in most of the milks out there um, and it's just like really clean really simple it makes it way more convenient and affordable to have high quality nut milks and you get to control it which like for me I'm kind of a control freak so I love that um, and just look how fast it is like it's insane. So I'm going to drink some celery juice. I get my water going for my coffee, all of this, like, and it's pretty much done by this point, but I'm using a little French press, a couple scoops of Pete's dark French roast. And look, it's already done. The cool thing about this too, is there's like zero waste. So I use everything. So there's the milk. It's all frothy and beautiful. And I'm going to put it in my steamer for my coffee. But then I also use the pulp that's left over to make either cookies. Sometimes I'll throw it in smoothies or even just eat it straight. Um, and it's really good. And then I have like one of their glass jars that I store it in. So it stays fresh for a few days in the fridge. And it's just so simple. Like every time I make it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's so easy. Like in your head, I think you think things are complicated. But when you have a machine like this, like... Look, and look how good and creamy that pulp is. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Plus, you guys, if you're doing something like this, it's so much more sustainable because you can prevent like 500 plastic cartons from ever going into the landfills or into the ocean because you're just making it on your own and you don't need any of that stuff. So I'll put a link down below for the almond cow. You guys, literally it's life. Put it on your Christmas list. I know it's early, but start thinking about it. Okay, you've seen my Uniquely You. So this is a company that Ryan and I are partners in and like founders of, and I love them. You guys used to always gag when I'd show drinking my apple cider vinegar and I totally get it. So now you can just take these little gummies and they're delicious and you still get your apple cider vinegar with the mother, which is like the part you want. So I've been taking those beef liver pills from Vital for my hair and skin and nails and really do feel like it's been helping quite a bit. And when I make my coffee, Look at my cute little fall cup, I love it. I just pour um, the French press coffee straight in the cup. 
Then I'll add, this is my little magic mixture of adaptogens and I know you guys ask me what's in it all the time. I will share soon, but I'm always trying to like perfect it. So once I get it perfect, I'll let you know. Um, and then I'm doing a little glutamine for muscle recovery and my collagen creamer from Vital as well. And then topping it with my fresh almond cow milk. So again, this is a cashew coconut and it is so freaking good. There's nothing like that fresh milk. Like I just, it's so good you guys. So we just got our furniture back in the house after renovating. So I'm starting to put a little bit of fall decor out, but I don't have it all yet. And every morning for the last two weeks, I've been spending 10 minutes doing some meditation. And honestly, it's the hardest thing in the world for me to sit still in silence. But I know I need it so bad. Like I feel so good and clear headed when I do it. And I always thought meditation had to like look a certain way. And it's really hard. It's really hard for me. But I think I'm just trying to like relax and let it be whatever it is. But just take those 10 minutes to dedicate to myself every morning. And then this morning I'm going to do just like the daily 10 from the Love So Fitness app. So this is the free daily workout that's in the app. You can get any time. So I'll put the links down below. Everyone can access it. It's a new workout every single day. Um, so I'm not going to do my full workout yet, but I'll get I'll get some abs and stuff in for this with my little Elsa booty bands. I just love this bag every time. It makes me so happy. I'll link the bands down below for you guys too. So this is just, again, the free daily workouts. So it's three different exercises. You repeat three times. Um, you can see them right there. And the thing I love about the Daily 10 is one, it gives anyone and everyone access to a solid workout every single day. Even though it's short, it's really great for starting to build a healthy habit. So if you're new to working out and you're like, oh, I'm not ready to go into a full routine, this is the best place to do it. Plus, if you get premium access to the app, you'll get the full personal training program. You can get full length videos. So this is one of my favorite ones too, just working on that sculpting and toning. And then after my workouts, every single day, I take 10 minutes and do some massage therapy on myself. So this is the wall massager, lithium ion cordless deep tissue massager. You guys, look at this. It has four different attachment heads. So you literally can get like every little spot you need with whatever type of massage you want. Um, I show this in my summer routine too. It has just been my go-to and I just love how it's handheld like that because it gives you more length and ability to get into different areas of your body. And it really does like attack the muscle pain below the surface. Um, and the important thing for me is like my muscles get so tight. So the great thing with the different heads is I'm able to get into those larger muscle groups like my quads and my glutes but I also can like pinpoint those problem areas like my shoulder I was telling you about, that old shoulder injury, kind of those smaller little spots still get exactly what they need. And massage is really important to reduce pain, increase circulation, increase mobility, flexibility. I know it's hard to take time to recover, but you gotta do it. So I'll link that down below too. After I shower, I'll do a little face wash. This is a little, um, a more Pacific enzyme face wash that helps exfoliate. So trying to constantly get rid of all my dry skin. <laughs> it's a it's a struggle, but we're working on it. Always, always, always. So tap that dry. And then I'll do a little serum and moisturizer. Right now, especially starting to go into fall, it's really important for me to make sure I'm hydrating my skin a lot. This is a little um, super goop moisturizer that actually is SPF and blue light reducing and blocking, which is really cool. And then I've shown this um, body butter before. It's the tanning, tan Lux like tanning butter. It's amazing and it just gives you a little like summery glow when you don't feel like doing a full self tan routine, just enough to give you what you need to feel like you went outside for a few minutes. Um, and then when I wanna refresh my hair, cause it gets a little sweaty and then in the shower, I'll do dry shampoo kind of at the roots and the areas that for me get a little bit greasier. And then I got, I don't even remember what this is called, but it's, I think it's Revlon. It's like the blowout brush. So I'll link it below for you guys. So many of you on Instagram were telling me how amazing it is. And my sister was telling me how amazing it is. So. I got it, it's only like $40, and it's really, really nice, especially when you just need to recover your hair too, because you can get in the roots, but it helps smooth everything out. Then I'll put a little hair oil in, do my five minute daytime makeup. It's literally just like CC cream, bronzer, mascara, lip gloss. So simple. 
And then the last thing I do as part of kind of my morning routine, which only takes about an hour and a half or so for my full routine, is I make a breakfast burrito. This has been my go-to breakfast for the last like month. So I'm just gonna carry this through fall because you can't ever get sick of a breakfast burrito. It's so good. So I do a little cauliflower rice in avocado oil, get that cooking, scramble up my eggs. I have some chicken sausage I'm gonna toss in with the cauliflower rice so it gets warmed up, it's already cooked. Um, put the messy bun up because it is getting serious when it comes to burrito time. These are the big Siete grain-free tortillas. So I'll load that bad boy up with everything in there, add the egg on top, add a little, um, this is bitchin' sauce, it's like a cilantro yumminess. Of course, avocado because avocado's life. And if you don't like avocado, I don't know if we can be friends. I'm just kidding, but I freaking love avocado. So it's necessary in a burrito. So mash it in there. Just usually a quarter of an avocado is a good one serving. And then folding up the burrito is always a struggle because I overload it all the time. But kind of fold over, start tucking in the corners. There are much better ways to fold burritos, but as you can see, this one is a struggle bus. But it doesn't even matter because it's so freaking delicious. So I'll link a recipe down below for you guys for one of my favorite breakfast burritos. Make sure you join the booty challenge. And if you're not subscribed, hit that red button, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.